Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the technologies used in data mining, guys. So basically, data mining cannot be used directly or solely, guys. So we need to use something in backend, right? So data mining is not a programming language or it is not something, right? You need to use some kind of programming language or something to do, right? Yes. So data mining, okay? So in the data mining, we will be using the concepts of machine learning, pattern recognition, statistics, some kind of applications, some kind of algorithms, database technologies, high speed computing, visualization. So these are all the things which you can use in the data mining guys. Okay. So the first we'll be discussing about statistics guys. Okay. So I hope everyone knows the use of statistics, right? So to calculate something like mean, mode, mode median, like that, those kind of things, like any kind of things it, it might be. I'm saying in terms of basics, right? Yes. So it is used in mathematical analysis to ex express representation mode and summarize the empirical data or real world observation. So basically real world observations, you can do some statistical analysis to get the results, right? Yes. So statistical analysis involves the collection of data methods applicable to large amount of data to conclude and report the trends. Okay. So to do some things with the data, we will be using these things, guys. Okay. So statistics. Okay. Yes. So similarly, machine learning, right? So whenever you want to do something, you cannot do it again and again, right? Yes. So you need to automate those things, right? Yes. So can computer do everything on its own? No, you should train it, right? So you should train it in a proper way so that it can act as your requirement. So that is a nothing but machine learning. So machine learning guys. Okay. So using machine learning, the computer gets the ability to learn without being programmed. So basically you will not be programming Thing, guys so you will not be saying that to do this do that do this do that so basically you will be just teaching the things right yes so based on your teaching it will start learning the things guys yes yes okay so basically you will be teaching the things it will be learning the things and whenever you are giving new input it will be acting on that guys so it will be saying the output okay yes so that is nothing but a machine learning. Okay. So using machine learning, the computer gets the ability to learn without being programmed. So using this, an algorithm can be constructed. Those are nothing but the predictors guys. Okay. Yes. So now let us go through the supervised learning. Okay. So in supervised learning, so first I'll be explaining you guys, then we will be going to the theoretical part. Okay. So in supervised learning. Okay. So in a supervised learning, we will be having the input data, right? So basically here I told you that te teaching will be there, right? Yes. So that teaching will be given here, guys. So basically you will be saying for it initially, you'll be saying this is a square. You'll be saying with the name, this is a triangle. This is a square. This is a triangle. This is a square. Like that you'll be teaching it first. So after that you'll be giving the square and you'll be asking, so what is this image? It will be saying square. Like a small baby, you'll be teaching everything to it. And then you will be start asking, testing, and then you will be deploying it once everything is working perfectly, right? So that concept is nothing but the supervised learning guys. So remember supervised. So basically there is someone supervising it. The teacher is observing, right? Yes. So that is nothing but supervised learning as the name indicates presence of a supervisor as a teacher. Okay. So basically here we teach train the machine using data, which is well labeled that means some data is already tagged with the correct answers so basically in the machine learning if you ask me so basically with the file names only we will be indicating the names guys so if the image is a car in image image processing i'm saying so if the image is car you will be giving the name as a car.jpg in that way if it is a bus bus.jpg in that way right yes so that concept is nothing but supervised learning okay so now let us move to unsupervised learning so the quite opposite of supervised learning so here there will be no teacher it will only learn it will only analyze the things so the best example for this is nothing but clustering guys so in the concept of clustering we will not give any kind of names guys you'll be just giving the object so you'll be just giving the object it will observe okay this object is having four sides okay so let me keep it assume this is the graph it will keep it here Okay, so assume you next you give triangle. So it will be saying that, okay, this is having only three sides. Then this is not similar to this. Okay, so let us keep too far to this. Okay, so again, you give the square. 
okay so it observed it okay so it is having four sides but this side and this side length are a bit different so let us keep it nearer okay again you give a really small triangle so it will be observing this is also having three sides this is also having three sides so it could be here in that way it will learn basically from the inputs so it will understand it will learn the things so that is nothing but unsupervised learning guys so unsupervised learning is the training of a machine using information that is a neither classified nor labeled so here there is no chance of classification or labeling okay allowing the algorithm to act the information without guidance so basically you will not give any guidance okay the third type is nothing but semi supervised so from the name only you will be saying it is half supervised so half data will be with the labels half data will be without labels so basically with this labels it will be classifying these things and the testing will also be done here itself guys okay and the last type is nothing but active learning the algorithm is designed in such a way that the dis the desired output should be decided by the algorithm itself so basically here the user plays a major role guys so basically that is the reason why it is called as active learning so it will be saying the output and you are going to be the judge here so you will be saying that whether it is acting correctly or wrongly so based on that it will analyze itself and it will understand it will take feedback from you right so that is called nothing but active learning guys okay yes so the next is nothing but algorithm so basically when you design something we will be writing the algorithm right so we are programmers right so whatever logic we are thinking whatever ideas we are getting everything will be implementing in terms of algorithm so don't think too much guys algorithm is nothing but step of steps of execution guys like we will be initializing this variable inside that will be storing this like that in terms of your human words or in terms of code is nothing but algorithm okay and applications so we could use various applications right yes so you, we can use various applications for building our requirement right yes similarly pattern recognition so basically in a data mining we will be catching some patterns right so it might be object detection it might be anything it might be in terms of text or anything but we will be trying to capture these patterns right yes so that is nothing but pattern recognition visualization so basically we will be visualizing things also so i told you right so in clustering will be plotting them in terms of a graph and you'll be observing them visualizing them right so that concept is visualization database technology so in databases we'll be using one of the most popular language that is nothing but structured query language sql to extract data from the databases so that is nothing but database technologies okay yes so these are all the technologies or applications which we will be using guys okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea so in the next lecture we will be discussing about what kind of applications are our targets so basically by using this data mining what are we going to achieve what type of applications we are going to achieve that things we will be discussing in our next lecture guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching